Imagine the world before airplanes. Travel was long and arduous, and the idea of soaring through the skies seemed impossible. But in the early 1900s, two brothers from Dayton, Ohio, turned that fantasy into reality. Wilbur and Orville Wright, bicycle makers with big dreams, achieved what many thought was impossible. They built the first successful airplane and launched humanity into a new age of travel and innovation. Wilbur and Orville were raised by a father who encouraged curiosity and exploration. Their father, Milton Wright, was a bishop and frequently traveled, bringing back toys and gadgets that sparked the boys' imaginations. One of these toys, a rubber band-powered helicopter, fascinated the young brothers and would later inspire their quest for flight. However, neither Wilbur nor Orville had a formal education in engineering. They were self-taught inventors, showing that sometimes raw passion and curiosity can overcome any lack of formal training. The brothers' first venture was a small printing press they built themselves. They used it to start a small newspaper, showcasing their early knack for innovation. But their next step, opening a bicycle shop, would provide the foundation for their journey into aviation. Bicycles were booming in popularity, and their work as mechanics taught them essential skills in balance, structure, and mechanics, all of which would prove invaluable. By the late 1890s, reports of others attempting to create a flying machine intrigued them. The Wright brothers began to study these early aviation experiments, reading about people like Otto Lilienthal, a German aviation pioneer who died in a glider accident. Determined to learn from the failures of others, the Wrights took a scientific approach. They focused on three key challenges that had hindered others, lift, control, and power. Their aim was to create a machine that not only lifted off the ground but also allowed the pilot to steer and control it, a feat no one had yet accomplished. Their experiments led them to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, where strong winds made it an ideal testing ground. Here, they worked tirelessly, studying bird flight and experimenting with gliders. Through trial and error, they developed a system called wing warping to control the plane, allowing the wings to twist and create balanced turns. Their ingenuity continued to evolve as they created the first wind tunnel to test different wing designs and collected crucial data that others had overlooked. After countless tests and frustrations, the Wright brothers took their ideas a step further by adding an engine to their glider. They custom-built a lightweight motor, which was no small feat given the technological limits of the time. On December 17, 1903, in Kitty Hawk, their persistence paid off. Orville took the controls for the first 12-second flight, covering 120 feet. While brief, that moment changed the course of history, proving that human flight was possible. They made several more flights that day, each one covering more distance than the last. The world, however, was slow to believe in their success. Despite the brothers' monumental achievement, they faced doubt and skepticism. They returned to Dayton to continue perfecting their machine, eventually catching the attention of European engineers and governments. The Wrights traveled to France, where they performed public demonstrations, finally convincing the world that controlled, powered flight was a reality. The story of the Wright brothers isn't just about engineering or mechanics, it's about persistence, vision, and the courage to believe in a dream. They revolutionized the way humans understood transportation, opening doors to a global society connected by the skies. From mail delivery to emergency services to global exploration, air travel reshaped life on Earth, and it all began with two determined brothers.